of the Utica Phoenix. And for Elon, I was wondering if you foresee any competing launch providers following suit with reliability or reusability, and was that a hope of yours? It is. And what kind of edge does reusability give you over your competitors? <coughs> I, I think um, I, I'm hopeful that the um, other launch providers will head in the direction of re reusability. Um, I think it's it's quite it's quite fundamental. I mean. It, it's just as fundamental in rocketry as it is in other forms of transport, um, such as cars or planes or bicycles or anything. Um, the the cost to refuel our rocket um, or reload, which is actually mostly oxygen on board, um, is only about uh, two to three hundred thousand um, dollars. But the cost of the rocket itself is sixty million. You know, it's kind of like a an aircraft. Um, aircraft are real expensive, but not to buy, to, to construct and, and buy, but uh, not expensive to refuel, relatively speaking. So um, so it's really quite fundamental. Like the, the potential, if you've got a, a rocket that can be uh, fully and rapidly reused, um, it's somewhere on the order of a hundredfold cost reduction in, in marginal cost. You still have your fixed cost, but in, in marginal cost, it's a hundredfold reduction. Elon, you always uh, mention that reusable rockets is uh, the long-term goal of that is to make colonization on Mars cheaper yeah. and sustainable. Can you give us an update uh, on Mars and the company's plans, long-term plans? Um, I am planning on giving a talk at the International Astronautical Congress, which will be in Mexico this year in September. And um, I thought that would be a good venue to uh, describe what we think would be a good approach, something that would, would be effective for establishing uh, a city on Mars. Um, I think it's going to sound pretty crazy, um, so it should be at least entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, that will conclude our briefing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, when you're intimately familiar with, 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 the, with the rocket, you know all the things that can go wrong. <laughs> so it's, like, when it actually succeeds, you're like, I'm amazed that it worked. <laughs> you know, like, like, so many things that can go wrong. Yeah. Everyone just thinks rockets just go up. Yeah. yeah. And then gravity stops. I always thought, which way the All right. Thanks, everyone. Right. Find one of your three. Pick, pick a direction. <laughs> so unexpectedly, Elon Musk came out for the post-launch panel. He surprised all of us. We had no idea he was going to be here. Thank you. So it's a pretty, pretty exciting moment. <laughs>